Hey guys, what's up? It's Bibzu7 here again, and welcome to another RuneScape 3 vlog here today. In this video, I'm just going to be talking about the May month ahead a little bit, uh, going over some things. I didn't think it was going to actually come out this soon, but uh, lo and behold, it is here, and uh, there's some pretty interesting stuff in it that I wanted to go over, so you guys can, uh, you know, sit back, relax, and uh, hear what I have to say about this upcoming month. Uh, I'm just going to be doing Strange Rock stuff in the background here, so nothing really to watch because there's obviously no update here or anything, but yeah, uh, either way, I didn't um, actually watch the video, but I did just read the news post. I think they pretty much always have everything in the news post, but if I miss something that I uh, that they only had in the video, you guys can let me know. I'll probably end up watching it tomorrow or something, but either way. Uh, first things first, Solok is coming out next month, finally. Uh, really looking forward to this boss to come out. Uh, it has been all, uh, confirmed on Reddit by J Mod Ramen that it is the last update of the month, which is annoying, but honestly no surprise to anyone because they always do that with the big updates, which kind of sucks. But yeah, that is when Solok is coming out. It's going to be... If it is the last Monday of the month, it is going to be May 28th, and uh, I'm probably going to be trying to take that day off of work to try it out on day of release. I'm really looking forward to doing that. I haven't done a day of release boss in a long time, so I'm really looking forward to trying that out, and uh, hopefully I can manage to get at least a couple kills. I'm not sure. Uh, I'll probably be trying both modes, duo and seven man. I've got some people I know will want to be doing some seven mans so we'll see how that works out but I am really looking forward to this new boss it's been a long time coming at this point it was supposed to come out before the end of April but it is um, finally going to be here in May uh, of course with this there are the new tier 92 crossbows and they're going to be called the blight bound crossbows which is kind of cool although it doesn't really make me think of you know the lost grove or like you know, Solok is kind of like an animated tree guy, sort of, so I wouldn't really, you know, think of Blightbound. Like, Blightbound would make me think maybe of, like, the vampire area or, like, Mortmeyer. Like, you know, kind of like Blighttown, Blighttown from Dark Souls. I'm sure a lot of you have heard of that. It's like a swamp type thing. Uh, I don't know, that's just what it makes me think of. So, I don't know, the, the name sounds kind of cool, but it doesn't really... Um, really resonate with the theme to me. Either way, uh, it's not a huge deal, but that's just my opinion. Uh, we've seen the concept art for these crossbows many times. They look really cool. They're just kind of like wooden, like twisted gnarled branches, some leaves on there, and then like in the middle part where like the string would like knock on to where the bolt is. If you know what a crossbow looks like, there's like a blue gem which looks pretty cool, so I am looking forward to this to come out, uh, of course, and really hope I am able to do it. Uh, I think I will be able to. I mean, I've got experience now at every single boss in the game, and it is supposed to be pretty hard, but I don't know. We'll have to wait and see uh, how hard it really is, um, because it is supposed to be gameplay based mechanics so that's going to be really interesting to see uh, and I'll definitely be making some videos on him when he comes out probably uh, m attempts maybe but definitely if I get a kill I'll upload it um, and yeah I'm really looking forward to it but again not till the end of the month for that next up they talked about these overgrown idols which is going to be uh, basically a new woodcutting training method which uh, I feel is kind of uh, lame to be honest with you because woodcutting already has so many training methods at this point it really seems unnecessary to add more but that's just my opinion I mean there's ivy elder trees crystal trees acacia or whatever those are called that are in menaphos um, teaks for like iron men I don't know it just seems like a skill that doesn't really need the attention uh, I would have preferred them to go for something more uh, like maybe construction or I don't know 
Uh, it's tough to really pick out a skill on the fly here, but obviously fishing just got the deep sea fishing, so that's not something that really needs attention. I'd say summoning could really use some love. It hasn't had seen any really new stuff in a while, um, though I'm not really sure what they would add at this point to it. Uh, there's a pretty, you know, pretty lot of uh, familiars in the game, but obviously, like, there's only really, you know, you either use the DPS familiar, Steel Titan. You use the accuracy from the night hill or the extra inventory space like there's not a lot of real variety in the familiars uh, honestly but still um, it sounds kind of cool it's going to be a level 81 uh, unlock for the training method and it is basically a they said it's going to be an alternative for ivy so I'm not sure if it's going to be super afk or what but that's what it makes me sound like, sound like. And these are going to be on Karamja, so that's interesting, uh, kind of just for the lore of it all. Um, they're idols to the Karamjan gods, lost in ruin and overgrown with plants of the forest. And you can chop those plants to reveal the idols underneath, which will give you boosts to your woodcutting abilities, which is going to be kind of interesting because um, supposedly these boosts are going to last for a little while because it says you can bring these boosts to other woodcutting methods if you prefer, or continue doing overgrown idols and benefit from them there. So I'm interested to see what these boosts actually are in specific and if it's going to be worth for XP per hour to go and get this boost before you're doing any substantial amount of woodcutting training. Uh, we'll have to wait and see on that though. There is uh, no real hint as to what these boosts are going to be, but it's uh, likely going to be similar to cash, uh, cash boost maybe from divination or like the things you get from the uh, Gothic's Memories thing. Also coming next month is a new quest, which they didn't really talk too much about here. Um, they just said there's a new quest that they're keeping kind of like a mystery. Although I saw on Reddit some people, apparently based on what they showed in the video when they were talking about this, it might be a quest to do with the backstory of Clue Scrolls and uh, the lore behind like Yuri and stuff like that. So that's going to be kind of cool. Um, we'll see if you get some sort of like clue scroll related perks as a result of completing this quest. But there's really not much to talk about about it because there is not really a lot of info on it. One important thing that, to note though is uh, as long as it gives more than one quest point, that will put us over 400 total quest points for you know the game, which is going to be kind of interesting um, because tech. Uh, there tends to be some cool stuff every 100 quest points. At least you usually will get a new prefer and block slot on Slayer uh, Masters for Slayer creatures, so that would be very useful. Also, Phil Philip Carnelian from the Carnelian Rising quest will move to a new location. I think it's in Prif. I'm not sure. The location is already known somehow, but he will be in a new spot, and you'll be able to get another little XP lamp from him. That'll be probably, I think it's a trim wreck. Uh, maybe comp, I'm not sure. Or maybe just, I have no idea, honestly, but it's a requirement for something. Nice little bit of XP, uh, and that's pretty cool. Uh, I like to see new quests, and this one sounds kind of interesting, especially if it is really about the clue scrolls, as it is uh, definitely possibility. Uh, and then they have a little snippet down here about parcels from the hedge, and this is essentially going to be like an advent calendar type deal for the whole month of May where when you log in you will get a parcel from well-known characters of the game directly to your backpack and if you're lucky you will receive something highly desirable from your favorite quest characters don't really know what that means exactly but we'll have to wait and see um, and you'll just get a nice little daily thing every time you log in during the month of May sounds pretty cool uh, and then they talk a little bit about Tears of Gut, or no, not Tears, well that is in here, but the uh, some of the ninja updates that are coming this month. Uh, so this is going to include a waterfall fishing teleport crystal, uh, an all-in-one God Wars soul stone, which sounds really nice. Um, and then Tears of Guthics changes are going to be implemented, similar to the way they were implemented on Old School, to allow you to, I believe, uh, not have to switch the things as much, like when the, whatever they're called, like the streams switch, you want, they'll stay for at least six seconds is I think what they did on old school. Um, I don't really do Tears of Gothics, obviously, but if you do, if you're Iron Man, most likely, that is probably going to be nice for you. 
uh, and it'll also not delay you as long when you are switching from one stream to the other and that was super annoying I remember when I used to do Tears of Gothic on my Iron Man or like my old main account so that will be very welcome to see uh, they're also going to improve the Corrupted Slayer Helm uh, a little bit uh, and it says that will it'll make them the item for catching souls so I mean what that says to me is obviously if you have the Corrupted Slayer Helm you will get uh, souls at a you know, higher rate so oh shit I did not mean to hit that I don't even know what preset I just pulled out I think that might have been rots either way um, yeah I'm definitely thinking that will be pretty cool um, might have to get the Corrupted Slayer home finally uh, it is a lot of points that I didn't really want to spend at the moment but if it really helps get souls faster I definitely will be purchasing it speaking of Slayer I do have a new episode of the Slayer series ready to go I just need to edit and upload it I meant to do it during this week but I have been a bit busy uh, with other things so I uh, have mostly when I've been on I've been doing uh, some Telos and uh, AOD as well as raids every other day but that's uh, all going towards my Collection King series of course although not super close to a new episode on that just yet just because you know if I don't get drops and I do a boss for a couple hours there isn't really any clips to show for it but either way there's also something about a rune coin bundle I don't know what the hell cherry blossom items are but you'll get some weird stuff there's like a really weird face on here has to do with the Solomon's general store I'm not super worried about that to be honest with you um, and that is it for this month pretty much uh, so one thing that is painfully absent that I was really hoping was going to be coming this month is group Iron Man uh, so it looks like that has been pushed back to at least June at this point I'm really hoping it doesn't go further than that though because I was really looking forward to playing it and uh, yeah I just wanted to come out as soon as possible obviously it really sucks for people who bought a premier club membership for their group Iron Man accounts expecting it to come out sooner because they basically have wasted half of the year and it is not even out yet so hopefully we do see it coming in June Solok was the thing that was inhibiting it technically considering Raman was working on Solok and he's the one doing the group Iron Man so hopefully we will not see any further delays on that but we will have to wait and see of course but yeah either way that is the month ahead for May sounds like a pretty sweet month I'm looking forward to Solok of course those idols will be interesting see what the boost they actually offer quest sounds really cool kinda cool little mysterious type thing and if it really is based around clues I'm sure it'll be pretty interesting and have some uh, you know probably pretty niche but useful rewards uh, and then the daily thing sounds pretty nice just to have something to get when you log in all in all sounds like a pretty great month to be honest this month of course of April was pretty lackluster although we do have the final update of the month coming on Monday which is going to be safe cracking so that'll be pretty interesting to see uh, you know just how it all works out how the um, XP per hour is or the money and also the perks that you're going to be getting for your thieving abilities as a result of doing the safe cracking so uh, I'll definitely be making a video on that when it comes out and uh, probably tomorrow or Sunday I will be releasing another episode of the Slayer series and uh, then after that the next video I'll release in a series will probably be a clue scroll video because I do have quite a few clues ready to go here I have six Trisk keys that I get from uh, that I got from um, what's it called again AOD and then I have ten sealed elites that I, and I can also go get two more from skeletal horror and one from my house so that's nearly twenty elites ready to go and that'll be a pretty nice clip for that video uh, like I said those aren't going to be as long as they used to be just because clues are taking a little bit less or they're taking a lot of time and they're I'm not as interested in doing them as I was right when they came out just kinda you know the hype died down a little bit for me but either way uh, I will see you guys in the next video and uh, yeah, peace out.